morning. So today's lesson is lesson six and it looks like this in your booklets. Let's think about sharing. It's good to share the good things God has given us, isn't it? Last week I was really excited to receive this huge box uh, in the post. A surprise present from my friend and it was full of craft supplies, mostly Christmas ones. Uh, so uh, it was wonderful to get that and I really look forward to sharing those things uh, when it's time to do crafts again. Most of all, though, of course, we want to share the good news about Jesus, don't we? Missionaries do this. Some people are especially gifted to explain why Jesus is so important, how much he loves us, and how we can give our hearts and lives to him. But we can all share. If we know one thing, we can share it. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. It's good to know our memory verses. We can share these with people. Sometimes people try to stop missionaries telling about Jesus. Some people are against God. It's really sad. We heard last week about the Apostle Paul. Barnabas had brought him to help tell about Jesus. And they worked together in the church at Antioch. One day the church was praying and God told them to send Paul and Barnabas away to tell about Jesus somewhere else. God wanted them to go and he would help them. We heard part of this true story last year, how they took a boat to the island of Cyprus and travelled across the island, uh, preaching in the synagogues. That was where the Jews were, where they worshipped, uh, as well as other people uh, who wanted to learn about God. And you can read this true story in the Bible in Acts 13, verses 1 to 12. So they sailed to Cyprus, they landed at Salamis, and they travelled to Paphos at the other end of the island. And there, in Paphos, an important Roman ruler called Sergius Paulus heard about Paul and Barnabas. He wanted to hear God's word too, so he sent for them. There he is. But someone was not pleased about this, a man called Elymas. He worked for Sergius Paulus and he was a false prophet. This means that he pretended to bring messages from God, but he was really lying. He was angry at what Paul and Barnabas were saying and tried to stop Sergius Paulus from believing in Jesus. Perhaps he was afraid he would lose his job or be less important. But God showed Paul what to do. God is always helping us, even when things are difficult. God, Paul looked right at Elymas and said, You are God's enemy. You are always telling lies and tricking people. God is angry with you. He is going to make you blind for a while. Immediately, Elymas could not see. The leader... Sergius Paulus was shocked and amazed. He knew this must be a powerful God and he believed and became a follower of Jesus. It was good. He had not been put off by Elymas. Some people will try to stop us hearing the good news about Jesus. Don't let anyone put you off believing in Jesus and listening to what God says in his word, the Bible. People will not go blind now when they refuse to listen to the truth about Jesus. But it is very serious to turn against Jesus and to try to stop other people believing. We don't know from the Bible whether Elymas was sorry later and believed in Jesus. We certainly hope so. Let's be sure we trust in Jesus, listen to his word and tell him, tell others about him too.